Now, on our Pesata segment this week, we caught up with General Motors Managing Director Richard Kavashe, the first African woman MD of an American auto company. GM East Africa is currently the market leader in Kenya, commanding over 26% of the market share, having sold 734 units in the past quarter. What do you attribute this growth to? Uh, the driver for this growth for us has uh, uh, really been around the commercial segment of the, of the business, uh, driven mainly by the reforms in the PSV sector. The reforms started to take effect towards the middle of last year. This is the upgrading of the public transport vehicles from 14-seater to high-occupancy vehicles. GM commands a substantial market share in this segment, so we've been able to uh, tap into this opportunity to grow our business uh, in the first uh, quarter of this year. How has this delay in facing out of the 14-seater matatus affected your business? Our investors have seen the benefit of transitioning to higher occupancy. This was not able to take effect as we had hoped to, uh, not because uh, people uh, people were against the, the move, but mainly so because of the high interest rates that were in place towards the last quarter of uh, 2012. So that slowed the, the market a little bit. But now with the stability in the interest rate regime and the need to upgrade these vehicles have aged, they need to replace them. So there's a lot of uh, replacement work that is going on that is giving us some competitive age. 86% of the cars on our roads are actually second-hand cars. Being a dealer in the new vehicles, how are you planning to tap onto this? I think it's going to change. As the mid-class continues to grow, as people become more aware of the running cost of a new vehicle vis-a-vis, -vis, the warranty benefits and all that, we'll begin to see a lot of uh, customers transitioning to, to new vehicles because everybody wishes to really have a ride, have the paper wraps out of their new vehicle. It's sometimes the risk of um, the challenge of affordability. Do you have a plan to start a line on second-hand vehicles as your competitors are doing? Uh, not at the moment. We, we see a lot of value in new vehicles. For our customers, we're looking at issues of safety. We're looking at issues uh, of longer repayment period because of the vehicle being new, the benefits that are accruing, better in, in, in insurance premiums and all that. Those are benefits that we are beginning to educate our customers to look at that, not only at the initial outlay. Last month, two auto dealers relaunched into the Kenyan market by setting up assembly plants. How is GM positioning itself to tackle this competitive landscape? Investors are looking at Kenya as, 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 as a strong East African hub and that's where we are seeing more and more players coming into the market. Remember, the new vehicle market is barely 10,000 vehicles per annum, 12,000 at, at, at most. Uh, but this inroad of, of new competition tells you that there's a lot of opportunity that is emerging, growing middle class, regional integration. Using Kenya as a critical hub uh, into the other markets is what we are seeing as a driver for additional competition into the marketplace. But competition is great. Uh, it helps all of us to be more creative in our offering so that we can give better value to customers and that is something that GM stands for. In what ways can the Kenyan government come in to create that conducive environment for doing business? We are expecting more consistency in terms of policy so that even when there are lobby, lobby group pressure groups coming in, we do not see the government uh, retracting on what they have done because then what, what government says is what private sector take and implement. So you'll see more investment coming into the country or into the region when there is some form of consistency as far as public policy is concerned. The Kenyan market accounts for over 35% of GM Africa sales. However, you recently shifted the production of Isuzu pickups from Kenya to South Africa, citing economies of scale. Please expound on this. Uh, the shift is uh, purely, uh, as, you, as you rightfully put it, uh, to take uh, advantage of economies of scale and to see how best we can go to market in terms of uh, regional production uh, plants. In, 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 in Africa, we have three major plants. General Motors has three major plants, and one is, is the one you're citing in South Africa that will become our pickup hub for all commercial uh, pickups across Africa. General Motors East Africa will strengthen its manufacturing footprint around commercial vehicle. Our region is 
predominantly a commercial region. And we want to leverage of this plant, strengthen its capacity to be able to take uh, care of a wider uh, sub-Sahara Africa market as far as commercial vehicle production is concerned. Lastly, Madam Kavashi, you're the only African lady at the helm of an American corporation. What's your advice to ladies who also want to climb up the corporate ladder as you've done? Uh, what I always tell them, in whatever sector that they are in, to just do the very best that they can do every day so that when they go home and look at themselves in the mirror and ask that question, what have I done today, they're very happy for what they have done. So focus, hard work, and uh, a little bit of luck. <laughs> yeah.